If you've ever owned a dog, you know they can have some weird behaviors. From howling at sirens to eating poop, today we're going to take a look at 10 of those strange traits and what they mean. Number one, chasing their tail. There's not a simple answer to this, as it could be many different things that makes your puppy chase its tail. Puppies could be confused about that weird floppy thing that's following them around, or it could be a dog looking to just scratch an itch. The most common reason is boredom. A dog that has a lot of pent up energy could be just looking for a way to release that energy, and he's figured out that he comes equipped with something to chase. Other times, if the behavior becomes obsessive, it could be a form of OCD and should be treated by a vet. Number two, licking you. It rhymes. Some dogs are licking machines and will constantly try to lick you when you pet them. Why do they do this? Surprisingly, the answer could be that they simply just like the salty taste of your skin. Ugh. The lesson they learn at a young age is that licking is the way to express love. So next time your dog gives you a big old lick on the face, it just means they love you or the way that you taste. Number three, tilting its head. This cute behavior results in some great gifts and videos, but why do dogs tilt their heads? It's actually a pretty simple reason. Turning their head helps them pinpoint where the sound is coming from. Even the slight change of position can help a dog hear exactly where the sound is coming from and what's making that noise. Dogs also use this as a way of letting you know that they're paying attention to you, mostly because they tilt their head searching for familiar phrases. Number four, eating poop. Probably the most disgusting behavior your dog can exhibit is eating poop. Unfortunately, there's not an easy answer to this. In many cases, it can be a deficiency of some kind, and it can also be that your dog is hungry, whether this be from underfeeding or an increase in appetite. If you've got puppies, they will often eat poop just as an exercise of exploration. If this behavior is a persistent one, consulting a vet is recommended. Number five, howling at sirens. People often say that dogs howl at sirens because the noise hurts their ears. This isn't true. Dogs and wolves in the wild howl to communicate their locations. And studies show that dogs howl at sirens because they misinterpret the sound as another dog howling or because they are trying to alert you to the abnormal noise. So don't fret when your pup lets out a nice ow. It's just their way of communication. Number six, humping. The most obvious and common answer is to make puppies. True. But even dogs that are fixed sometimes hump others. What was broken about them? I don't know. Humping can be a sign of overstimulation. This can be a coping mechanism called displacement. If the humping is caused from anxiety, you should figure out what is causing that anxious behavior and work to resolve it. Other times, humping is just a natural form of play. So while some may think that mounting and humping is a dog showing dominance, it's usually not. Seven, circles before lying down. This peculiar yet cute behavior most likely comes from the dog's natural instincts. Before dogs were dogs, they needed to create their own beds. Yeah, believe it or not, dog beds and couch cushions don't grow on trees in the wild. And even if they did, dogs can't climb trees. To make a bed, they would need to flatten the grass and ground around them, which would also drive out snakes and other pests. If you've also seen your dog dig in their bed, this comes from dogs digging into the ground to either get cool or retain body heat. Number eight, sniffing butts. People often say that when a dog sniffs another's rear end, it means that they are saying hello. While this is a little true, it's really more complex than that. Dogs have an amazing sense of smell and they use that sense to do a lot of things. In this case, they are smelling the anal glands of the other dog, ew, to get a lot of vital information. From smelling a dog's butt, they can learn their sex, reproductive status, health, diet, and even emotional state. Number nine, thrashing toys. If you've ever played tug of war with your dog, and I really hope you have, you've most likely seen your dog take that rope and thrash it about. Many people think this is the dog simulating killing their prey. While this may be an artifact from a time when dogs were still wild, the thrashing is now just a sign of play. If you've ever seen your dog grab a toy, and shake it in front of you. That means, I'm ready to play. Shaking a toy at you is your dog's own special way to try and taunt you into coming play with them. And who could ever resist? Number 10, barking at reflections. Many studies have been done about self-awareness and mirrors, ranging from babies to chimps to dogs. 
If your dog barks at its reflection, it probably thinks that the reflection is a new weird dog without a scent. Most dogs do get over this and just tend to ignore the reflection entirely. Because dogs rely on smell and sound much more than sight, they are usually less stimulated by visual cues. Thanks for watching. If your dog does one of these strange behaviors, leave us a comment and remember to share, subscribe, and like the video. Thanks for clicking subscribe. If you like this video, check out one of our other videos here.